What is up guys, Jimmy here with another Lots of Games video. Hope all of you guys are doing great and you're able to play some really fun, good games. Now, you guys know there are just so many games to choose from. The games that have been released from years past and games that are being released this year. Thousands of games to choose from. Many of them are super fun and many of them are like borderline addicting at times. They just have so much going for it. And of course, unfortunately, the thousands of different games out there there are a lot of games out there that are horrible games like fighter within rambo the video game charlie's angels and ride to hell retribution uh now i have to i wanted to talk about this of course kind of got like a contrast with this one of the highest rated games this year is the legend of zelda breath of the wild and on the nintendo switch but also on the nintendo wii u out of the dozens and dozens of review scores, it currently sits at a 97 out of 100. And that's saying something, because you've had a couple of lower scores, like below 80%. So for it to have a 97 out of 100 on the Wii U and the Switch, that's very, very impressive. Now, of course, this is a game that you can only find on the Nintendo platforms. Well, there's a game I wanted to share with you guys today that is only available on the Nintendo Switch. It is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. And currently, out of the thousands of games that are out there, it currently is the second worst or the second lowest scored game of all time. And currently, out of 100 points, it currently sits out of 16 out of 100, and that game is Vroom in the Night Sky. Uh, and I'll include a link in the video description below so you guys can check out the trailer. And it was kind of interesting to read some of the comments. People were asking, like, is this actually a finished game? And and uh, it basically, it's, it's this witch uh, who's on a magical motorcycle, and she's flying around the night sky. And uh, one of the other comments said, well, basically, this is kind of like in a current version of Superman 64. But it's quite interesting that out of the thousands of games, this one has the second lowest score. For And just as a reference, the lowest uh, scored game of all time uh, is actually on the Wii U. And that's Family Party 30 Great Games uh, Obstacle Arcade. So, uh, you know, of course, the Nintendo consoles, the Nintendo uh, handhelds, they've got some really high-rated games, but it's interesting. The two lowest-scored games of all times uh, are Nintendo uh, exclusives, one on the Wii U and one on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and it's interesting, too, because with the launch of the Nintendo Switch and no virtual console, uh, and, you know, with the games, there's games that people can get on the Switch, like Blaster Master, uh, and, of course, Zelda, um, and, uh, you know, games to choose from, but the, the choices aren't that great, and with, you know, people going nuts just wanting to get anything they can play on the Switch, you know, the library not being very good, I'd be really interested to know with... Of room in the night sky, how well that one is selling. Really interested to know, you know, if like a lot of people pick that one up. Probably not, but probably more people versus, you know, if the Switch had been out several years and you have hundreds of these games coming out. I can imagine this game being a launch title on the Switch is selling a lot better than, you know, it would have down the road. But guys, let me know your thoughts on this game. The second worst game of all time on Metacritic, Vroom in the Night Sky. But uh, as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later.